In this episode, let's take a look at how to do an example of column addition. Let's add 496 plus 384. In this particular problem, I have three columns to consider, and I want to make sure I add within those columns. We always start adding in the ones place. So I'm going to start by adding 6 plus 4. 6 plus 4 gives me 10. I'm going to put the 0 down, but I'm going to carry that 10 into my next column. Be sure when you write down your number that your 1's place goes in the 1's column and your 10's place goes in the 10's column. The biggest mistake I see kids making is they'll put the 1 down and carry the 0. But make sure you'd still read this number as being 10. Next, let's go to our tens column. I'm going to add 9 plus 1 is 10 plus the 8 gives me 18. Again, I'll carry the 1 or the 100. 4 plus 3 is 7 plus the 1 I carried gives me 8. 496 plus 384 gives me 880. Let's try an example of column addition. Let's add 432 plus 398. For this problem, I have three columns to consider. And I'm going to add separately in each of those columns, starting with the ones, moving on to the tens, and then completing the hundreds. Let's start by adding the ones column. I'm going to add Let's start by adding the 1's column. I'm going to add 8 plus 2, which gives me 10. Now, I can't fit a two-digit number into the 1's column, so I'm going to take that and write the 0, and I'm going to carry that 10 to its appropriate column, the 10's column. 8 plus 2 is 10. Now I'll add the 10's column. 9 plus 3 is 12, plus the 10 that I carried gives me 13. I'll put the 3 down and carry that 1, or the 100, into the hundreds column. 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 3 gives me 8. 432 plus 398 gives me 830. 